Hi, I'm Stu from Cyclist, and uh, I'm here today with Dr. David Nichols of What Bike, and we're going to be talking about how we can maximise uh, indoor training. We're going to talk about in this first of a series of videos. We're going to start with FTP or your functional threshold power. Um, so, Dave, over to you. Tell us a bit about what FTP is and why people need to know about it. Yeah, so your functional threshold power, your FTP, it's really that limit between what is sustainable and unsustainable power for a cyclist. We know that lots of power outputs, in fact, vast majority, are unsustainable. So maximising your sustainable power, that, that power you can ride for very long and extended periods of time, that's going to be crucial in any cycling performance. That number, uh, once, we've, uh, once we've found it, what does that mean to someone who's just getting into sort of learning to train with power? Why is it so important to have that figure? Is it about um, repeatable performance tests or is it more about pacing their efforts in a training session or, or is it both? Yeah, you're, you're absolutely right, it's both. You're looking, first up, it's giving you that benchmark. It's going to allow you to do a test, you're going to do a test today. In six weeks, eight weeks time, we can repeat that test and just look at something like weight. Has it changed with your training over that two month period? But it's so much more than that. And pinning your training off this number is, is super important. You're going to be able to prescribe training sessions. You're looking at, if you want to do some top end stuff, if your weakness is at that top end VO2 max sort of efforts, well then you're going to train above your functional threshold power. It's going to be 110, 120% short intervals. If you want to structure your training differently, if you've got long climbs and some tempo efforts, you're going to be training some way below the functional threshold power. And so it's really that kind of, it's giving you that benchmark, but it's also informing your training. I think that both of those are really important. You said I'm going to be doing a test today. Um, tell me a little bit about the test. How do we measure functional threshold power? Yeah, so we've got you set up on the Atom today. Um, you're going to start with a little warm up, get going as if you're preparing for a race. It's going to be an absolute max effort. You've got 20 minutes in hell. We're going to start you off and then you're gonna do your best average power over 20 minutes. You don't wanna to start too hard, but equally you don't have anything left at the end. You've gotta absolutely empty the tank over this 20 minutes and finish exhausted. Um, and then we're gonna take that number, look at your average power and take 95% of that and that's your FTP. And actually if you go into the hub at the end, it will calculate that for you and we'll get that benchmark level for you today. Okay, well, sounds like I'm in for a good time. Um, let's get cracking.